The beauty of AutoCAD PNID is the data that can be added to the project. The rich database tools make it easy to set up and manage information, from common shared parameters to instrument-specific information. It's important to understand how data is organized and defined in a project, so this lesson provides a general overview to get you started. To see how this works, start by using the Project Setup tool, located on the Ribbon, Home tab, Project Panel. Once the project is open, select PNID Drawing Settings, PNID Class Definitions, and then Engineering Items. For items that represent physical objects in a diagram, this is the top of the food chain. The Properties section of the dialog lists all the parameters that apply to everything under the Engineering Items class. When a property is added at this level, it is automatically applied to all subcategories. This includes the most common properties, including description, manufacturer, model number, supplier, and comments. Each of these fields are represented as string data. This data is made up of both numbers and letters, and can include whatever the user types in. Let's review the types of data that can be added. Select Add. The property types include Numeric, which includes values based on numbers only, Boolean, which defines yes-no values. Symbol list, which provides a list of predefined symbols that can be used to represent a part. Selection list, which provides a list of predefined values such as a pipe size or system abbreviation. And acquisition, which uses information from other parameters to populate itself. You can choose between any of these property types to define how you want information to be displayed but you also need to know how and where it's going to be applied. Take a look at the properties of this level for engineering items. Notice how none of them have an asterisk in front of this property name. In terms of project data hierarchy, this means that these fields are applied at this level and all subclasses below this level. Expand the engineering items category and pick equipment. Notice how class name, description, manufacturer, model number, supplier and comment all have an asterisk in front of the name. This indicates the data is coming from a higher level. As you define data you need to look at how the data would be applied and where it needs to be reported. While items such as manufacturer and model are common to all classes, some items are much more specific. Total dynamic head, for example, is only applicable to pumps. As you start to review how you want to manage your data, make sure you take the time to understand AutoCAD PNID's data hierarchy and how it is applied. You can save yourself a tremendous amount of time while avoiding using repetitive tasks.